everybody, welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at Snap Build. But before that, this video is brought to you by Frank Muse and Diablo Del Toro. Thank you for being farm barons. So Snap Build can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release and probably the entire release, this mod is available for PC only. This mod does make use of additional scripts, and that is why it's not going to be available for console. Now, I have to give you a little bit of a background on this. I initially saw this over at a third-party mod site months ago. Downloaded it, couldn't get it to work. Didn't understand what was going on. I saw it go through a couple more iterations. I can never really figure it out, and more importantly, I could never figure out where the mod author originally positioned the mod. All I ever could find were random downloads and I really wasn't sure which one was the legit download. So I passed on it, completely passed on it. And now, thank God it is here in the mod hub because this is the saving grace for anyone that is building out your farm. I positioned these three buildings here absolutely perfectly in 10 seconds using snap build. I originally placed this building and then I rotated this building and positioned it perfectly. And then I ran over here, rotated it, and once again, positioned it perfectly. So these three buildings are 100% uniform with respect to their spacing and their rotation to each other. Let's see how this works. So let's go into build mode and let's just pan around over here. And as you know, you're gonna pick a building and you're gonna be able to rotate it 360 degrees, right? You're gonna be able to move it around freely. So trying to position something so it is perfectly you know, put it here, and then we have to rotate this and, and hope we have the angle right, and then hope we have the distances right, so we just kind of guess and put it there, and then we spin this around, and then again, we hope we have everything lined up, then we put it there, oh, it's, it's too close, right, so now we have to demolish, and put it down, we know we have to move it around a little bit more, Right, and then maybe, maybe we got it there, and then we put it, and then, then maybe that works, maybe it doesn't. All right, snap build to the rescue. Watch this. So we're gonna pull up the F1 menu, and we have a few new commands, Alt-6 and Alt-5. Let's first look at Alt-6. First, we are at snap build rotation zero degrees. So we have 100% 360 degree rotation as we would expect. On buildings that do have a 90 degree rotation, they're gonna operate as we expect. Now we're gonna go to Alt-6 and I'm gonna change this to 30 degree rotation. For it to take effect, this is the only kind of confusing part and this is exactly what I could not figure out when I was messing with this mod months ago. You need to select on a building after you change your degree rotation snap and now you'll see it snaps on 30 degree angles. It's no longer freely rotating, it is snapping at 30 degree angle. I'm gonna Alt-6. I'm gonna change this to 45 degree angles, but you see it's still snapping to 30. You have to come down here, pick a different building, go back to the building you wanna place, and now it will snap to 45s. We can change it to 90 degree angles. Again, it's still snapping to 45, so you have to come down here, pick a different building, we can go back up here and now it will snap to 90 degrees. Or we can go back to the building we wanted and now it will snap to 90 degrees. But the key is when we change our angle of snap back to zero, we have to come down here, click off of the building we were on, and then go back to the building we want to be on and now we have our effect. So it's not live. We It only takes effect after you have selected a building in the build mode. So there we are, 360. Once again, let's go to 30%. I have to come down here, pick a different building. Now it's snapping to 30%. Oh, 
Alt 6, I can go to 45%. Now it's snapping to 45s. Alt 6 to snap to 60 degree angles. Now it's snapping to 60 degree angles. Alt 6 again to go to 90 degree angles. This works on anything, it doesn't have to be a building. It could be a silo, it could be anything that you can place. And what it does is it helps you line things up and helps you make uniform looking farms as opposed to having things just kind of slightly askewed, right? Then we have snap build position. And what that is going to do is it's going to allow us, right now you can see, I can move this around nice and smooth. I can literally put it anywhere and everywhere. Well, snap build, alt five. I'm going to put it on one pixel. And when we pick a building, you can now see that it is kind of jerky. It jumps because it's it's snapping every pixel. Okay. And what this means is you could put something down and literally count one, two, three, four, five, six. You know, I want to go. I want to be seven pixels apart for each building I put down. Well, you can do that. So let's look. Right. I could put down my bees. Right? Maybe maybe you're really, you know, you're really particular. You want things lined up a very specific way. So I can put my B here. And I can go over. And I can go over. And over. And over. And over. And now they are all perfectly spaced out. Just like that. I didn't have to, like, you know, uh, is it right? Okay, they're now perfectly spaced out. Go Alt-5. We can go from zero pixels... Right, completely able to freeform place this wherever we want to a half of a pixel. So it jerks half a pixel to a single pixel, like we saw here. We can go all the way up to five pixels, just like that. And that's exactly how I position these. So let's do that demonstration just one more time and just oh, show you how convenient snap build is. So I'm gonna set this on 45 degree angles at five pixel rotation or five pixel placement. So I'm gonna put a building here. Boom. I'm gonna rotate it 45 degrees. There, 45 degrees. There, done. Now they are 100% perfectly geometrically lined up. And it took less than five seconds. It probably took like four seconds or three seconds because I had to snap and I had the rotation. And there you go. So guys, like I said, I think this is the saving grace to anyone that builds out their farm. They can position things. They can be sure that they are lined up on a very specific angle of rotation with respect to possibly other aspects of their farm. They can space things out nice and uniformly. So if you have a little bit of ADD and you're not gonna be completely triggered every time you come over to your farm and just, just can't feel you can ever get anything lined up the way you want it, we have Snap Build. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think of Snap Build and it is, is it going to become a staple of your mod folder? And I have to say, I really wish this was a base game feature in 22. And I really hope that we see this as a base game feature in whatever farm sim comes after. And until next time, happy farming.